it just kind of goes back to people hating, bro. It's just like when man, it's this quote, and it's like, uh, what did it say? But like, ah, I can't remember what thing it was, but I'm gonna flip it and make it our thing right here. So basically, hate and gratitude can't exist in the same space. You can't. It's gonna be impossible for you to hate on somebody and really be grateful for what they're doing at the same time. It's it's very. If you can do that, bro, you must be an alien or something. Cause I can't hate on Steph Curry and appreciate what he does at the same time. You can't hate on a shooting, but being like really appreciate how great he is at shooting at the same time. That's that's impossible. Right. Those two things can't exist in the same space. And so, um, I just feel like people don't sit back and really. I think they just. I think people really don't understand how good these people are. Like, I'm a. I'm a I might go to my grave preaching that, bro. Like, people really don't understand how great people are what they do. They make it look so easy, and we get so used to seeing it game after game after game after night after night. But it's like, bro, Steph Curry is the one percent of the one percent of the one percent of shooters. When you have Ray Allen, Reggie Miller bowing down to this man and be like, yo, you got the crown, you doing something special, bro. But them two were the one percent the one percent at one time. Right. When you got dudes like, hey, tip you on, bro. You are the goat of this thing right here. This specialty right here, you're the guy. I bow my hat to you, bro. You got you got the crown, bro. Reggie Miller gets on TNT night after night after night. Says, "Yo, that man is it." There's no hating his heart when it comes to Steph Curry. He's appreciating what because he he knows he understands how hard that junk is. So for him to sit here and be like, "Yo, he's the guy," who am I to say Steph Curry is not good at this? All he does is this. Come on now. So it's just man. like people don't understand how good people are. Like, like the NBA is the one percent of basketball community. Cause you got weekend wars. You could go to the rec and LA fitness, whatever hoop on a regular. You got to include them into the hoop. <coughs> so you're talking about middle school, high school, travel ball, college, pros, Euro, all this stuff. Semi pro, all you got to keep all that in the basketball community. The NBA is the one percent of that whole pot. Now Steph Curry is the point zero zero one percent of that whole community when it comes to shooting. That's how great this man is. When it comes to LeBron James being the guy, he is the point zero 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 one percent of that. Because only a handful of people sitting at the table with LeBron talking about basketball. Jordan, Kobe, we 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 on we on that little list. We ain't talking about that right now. But like, I don't, I really don't think people comprehend how good these guys are. Like that guy sitting at the end of the bench, he's talking trash about. He will light you up for fifty in his sleep. Like. The talent pool only goes deeper the le- higher level you go up, bro. Like, uh, all the good college players. Most colleges have the best high school players from the thing. All the, all the dudes who are the one, two, and three option at, at this high school went to play college ball. So, I, I'm not saying all across the board, but at most colleges, you're going to have the best guys in high school playing college ball. Now, you get a handful of people who started playing pretty late and they see potential or – He's an athletic freak. He's, you know, he played football his whole life, but he see potential. You got a handful of those. That's why I'm not saying that. But like, for the good, a good part of college basketball players are the are the one percent of high schools. So you get to the best uh, college teams, the best college players. About the one percent of those guys are going pro, not just NBA, but pro wherever. So it's the one percent of those guys. So now you're taking a one percent of this, the one percent of this, one percent of this, one percent of this. So every level taking a one percent. Of whatever level you're at, so the NBA is. I, I can't even sit here and say 400 with all the best players, but I'll say about half. So about 200 of the NBA players are the best players on the planet, hands down. Hand, I can't. Jamal Crawford is the ultimate bucket, and that man just retired not too long ago. He's a one percent of the one percent when it comes. Hey, here's a basketball. I put in the goal. He's one of the few that can easily give you 50 with no sweat, like make it look so smooth and clean. But I don't think people appreciate and understand how good that is. Like well, even when it comes to like different areas, like all types of channel does block shots and play and uh, play defense rebound. You know how hard it is to do that, bro? I don't care that he's six seven. Like there's still a lot of coordination and timing and rhythm that comes to being able to do all that stuff. It's hard to do. All Steph Curry does is shoot. You go shoot. 
Tell me how many points you get. I'll give you, I'll give you all day. How many points you get? It's hard to do. I wish we does is play hard. You go run around for uh for 48 minutes. Tell me how tell me how you feel. I give you the timeouts and everything. Timeouts, halftime, quarter breaks. You tell me how you feel after that. And I better not see you slow down one time. <laughs> Cause Rush on don't slow down. And we might say Rush play too fast, but he will never slow down. And like, I can I can I can respect it. So you tell me how you feel. Exactly. So it's just like people like low key. I thought about this too. I don't think people realize how how in great shape these guys are. Like Kyrie. Like think about this. People say he dribbles too much, right? But I sat down and thought about this. Like for him to sit here and do all these moves. Within like 10 seconds is a lot of energy to spend. But he does this throughout the whole game every night. Think about how in shape he is, bro. I think even Hoopers don't even realize that sometimes. Like Steph Curry literally will do his thing on the ball, pass it up, run around, screen and stuff off the ball, catch and shoot, and do that the whole game, every game. Like, think about how in shape you have to be to do that, bro. That's just literally like what what are you doing with your life, bro? Like, are you okay? Because you're not the respect that has you you got some heart issues, man. Let's let's go to therapy. Get that hit out your heart. Get, get the hit at your heart, man. You can't you can't live with that, man. So it's just like that's difficult to do, man. And it's like people don't respect how good these guys are. Because I really think they don't even comprehend how good these guys are. Like they can't even fathom the level of skill these guys have and how much work and ethic that you have to put in to be at that level. So I just feel like when you hate that much, you either can't understand and comprehend how good they are or you don't operate in gratitude to appreciate what they're doing and you just think that this is just the common thing which goes back to you not understanding how good these guys are so that's just like just where i, I, I stand on the people being haters bro like you just don't you really don't understand how hard this is Thanks. that's it <laughs>